Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains in Charlotte, North Carolina. Today we're installing a sump pump in the backyard of a house where water has just been flooding and flooding and flooding. And we're going to pump that water all the way up this hill and out to the curb. So we start by trenching a line for our discharge. This is coming from the sump pump. We're actually working back down the hill because it's quite slippery. It rained yesterday and the trencher does a great job but it does get stuck so we're going downhill. If you live in a neighborhood that has hills and your backyard is flooding and it's much lower than the street there's probably no place for that water to go. And So for that reason that's when we install a sump pump. But we also install the pump to help keep the foundation of your home from having problems and you'll see me kind of disappear over this hill because this is a, a rise of about 15 feet and we're going to put in a Zoller M53 this is a one-third horsepower pump and we're going to push the limit of this pump so we finished trenching our inch and a half discharge we're just cleaning out the trench right now have to pick across the gas line here gas line is actually right there by that white pipe and there's a yellow marking there that line comes across so we had to do this by hand across here and you can see the gas line continues over so does our trench keeps on going down the hill there's the gas line there's the cable over in this hole we've started we're going to put a sump pit and a sump pump and then we're going to bring the water from back there and you can see how much water's in this ground from that back corner of the patio that pipe will come into the sump pit the pit will lift it up and send it out to the street we're putting our sump pit and of course it rained yesterday and you can see all the water that's in the ground we're putting it right down here in this hole it has a discharge line going out and up to the street and here's the inlet line coming back to where the cat station will sit at the other end pretty muddy install back here but we'll get it so now we're perforating this pit, putting some holes in it to allow the water to enter from the sides and the bottom. But as you can see how much water's here. And water comes out from underneath of this footer of this basement and pours into here, as well as back to the back back there. So we're almost ready to install the pump. Just a few more things to do. Plugged our pit in. You can see all the water, the pump's taking it out real nice. This water is all going through this inch and a half pipe and coming up this hill. And this is a plug for Zoller because we're rising about 15 feet and pushing it nearly 80 feet. So let's go see if that water made it out to the street. Yes, it did. But you can see, simple little install although it's a little bit muddy. And here's our water coming out from the pump, going right down the curb to where it's supposed to go. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.